Money is most notably the number one thing that people want to manifest. And I'm sure that at some point in your manifestation and law of attraction journey, that you have tried to manifest money in some way, shape, or form. Everybody wants to manifest money, whether or not you're new to the law of attraction or even practicing for years. But here's the thing. People who manifest money easily aren't lucky or special. They don't have any kind of superpowers that you don't have. But if you're sitting here thinking that right now, then this video is about to change everything for you. I'm serious when I say that the floodgates of abundance are about to be unleashed for you. After this video, you will finally understand how you've been blocking yourself this entire time. And when you have this big realization, this big moment where everything kind of starts to fall into place and it clicks and that light bulb goes off, be sure to comment below because I am so certain that while you watch this video, you are going to have this exact moment. Suddenly everything's just gonna click for you and I wanna hear when it happens. So don't forget to do that. But once you finish this video, you will be able to manifest money with ease and you will finally be one of those people who can manifest money without all of the struggle. The struggle never had to be there and you'll see why. Hello and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Mary Kate and I'm a mindset coach and manifesting expert focused on getting you transformational results. My whole channel is all about manifesting the law of attraction with meditations and more where I share the tools you need to get the results you want. I post brand new videos every Wednesday, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. And really quickly, before we get into the video, go ahead and hit that little thumbs up button below if you are ready to manifest money with ease. It only takes a quick second and it's the first little energetic step towards this money shift. So once you do that, let's get into it. So believe it or not, manifesting money is actually meant to be simple. You can challenge me on that all you want, but it's the truth. Money is simply a resource. It's not good or bad, it just is. It's like air or water. Money is just a resource that helps you sustain life. And really, there is only just one major reason why people manifest money easily while other people struggle. And I know this because this is the exact thing that I shifted when money started becoming easy for me to manifest. It really wasn't always this way for me. I remember over a decade ago when I first started studying the law of attraction, I had this same struggle. I would try to manifest money. I would try all of the techniques. I followed all of the books. I did everything that I thought was right but the results weren't consistent. It was frustrating. I mean, sure, sometimes it worked and I manifested what I wanted, but other times it felt like I was trying everything, just trying so hard and nothing was happening. So if you can relate to this, then listen up. Because here is the exact thing that divides the people who manifest money easily and the ones who struggle. Really pay attention to this because this is gold. This is the reason that manifesting money is a struggle for people. The key component about how easily you manifest money depends on the meaning that you give to it. It's the meaning. And some of you may be sitting there saying, what are you even talking about? It's the meaning. <laughs> Let me explain it in a better way. Absolutely nothing has any power except the meaning that you give to it. If you have been struggling to manifest money, it's because of the meaning that you are giving to it. Let me challenge you a little bit. Nothing is good or bad. Nothing is easy or hard. Nothing is really big or small. That is your personal interpretation. It's your opinion. It's the meaning that you give to something. I mean, really let that sink in. It's all just your opinion. It's the meaning that you attach to something based on your perception. For example, food is just food. There is no good or bad foods. It's simply a resource. I mean, yeah, some foods may have more calories and sugar and trans fats, while some may have more antioxidants and health benefits. But at the end of the day, it's all just food. You determine the meaning of it, whether something is good for you or bad for you. Another example, $5,000 is just money. To some people, that's a lot of money. And to others, it's not that much. It's the meaning that you give to it. If I said, oh, this new shirt over here cost $5,000, you'd probably be sitting there saying, that's way too expensive, no way. But if I said, oh, you can have this Ferrari over here for $5,000, you would have a much different opinion on it. You would give that a completely different meaning because that's a deal. All of this is simply the meaning that you give to something. Is this making sense? Like I said, when everything clicks for you, comment below because I know it will. So when it comes to manifesting money, what meaning are you giving to it? 
I mean, journal on that right away. You're giving a meaning to money at all times. So what are you making it mean? Are you obsessing over it? Are you worrying about it? Are you making it out to be this good thing or a bad thing? Or do you make it out to be this thing that's hard to get or easy to get? How do you feel about money? What meaning do you attach to it? Because I don't have some superhero power that you don't have. I just choose to view money in a very drastically different way, but it takes a lot of practice to get to where I'm at right now. And it's important to note that this is not a one-time thing. It really takes looking at all of your thoughts and fears and worries and habits and beliefs that you hold about money and notice if they support you having money or fight you on having it. It takes questioning things constantly and then questioning them again and then questioning them again because your beliefs and your programming are forming your reality whether or not you realize it. And these beliefs are attaching meaning to everything. So until you can shift this internal stuff, you will continue to experience the same patterns where you can maybe sort of manifest money here and there, but it's not consistent. And if you're wondering how to shift these money beliefs and dive even deeper, I'm gonna leave a link to a free money mindset workbook down below, and this will really help you jumpstart this work. Like I said, it's completely free and it's an instant download, and tens of thousands of people have gone through this workbook and experienced some massive and major shifts in their ability to manifest money. So I'd love for you to try it out too. So the link is down in the description box below. But if you are noticing that you are struggling to manifest money and it feels like one of those things that never really quite works for you, you're likely making it mean far too much or you might be attaching sort of a negative meaning to it. And it's important to know that this meaning that you're giving to it is formed by your subconscious programming. What you were told, what you were taught, things you've experienced, mostly within the first seven years of your life, when you were a little sponge absorbing the world around you, you were automatically set up to give money this meaning that is actually blocking you from attracting it with ease. The people who manifest money easily, let it be easy. They don't attach any meaning that's gonna block them from having it. I mean, think of it this way. Do you ever have those things that are just really easy for you to attract? Maybe you're one of those people who's really good at manifesting a parking spot up close or manifesting jobs or relationships or whatever it is that you feel that you attract and manifest easily. And look at that and notice that it's because you haven't attached too much meaning. You weren't desperate for it. You didn't feel bad about it. You sort of had this inner knowledge and trust that it was possible and therefore it was possible. You weren't overthinking it. You weren't trying so hard because you didn't attach any meaning to it that it had to be difficult. The things that you receive the easiest, you have the least resistance around. And let me say it again, because if you understand nothing else from this video, remember this. The things that you receive the easiest, you have the least resistance around. And the way that you know that you have a resistance around something is when things don't feel good around it. When things feel stressful or overwhelming or things that you worry about, that is resistance. Make it simple. Anything that doesn't feel good is a limit or resistance. And the biggest way to manifest anything, especially money, is by starting to remove that resistance. Resistance comes from invisible limits. It comes from your subconscious programming. And I always say that limits are just lies that you chose to believe. So choose to stop holding this resistance around manifesting money. Start releasing all of the meaning that doesn't feel good or doesn't feel possible or doesn't feel supportive. And that is when everything will start to click and fall into place for you. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that it all is finally starting to make sense for you now. And also don't forget to download that free money workbook down below. This will really jumpstart you in your ability to make these big energetic shifts and let money be easier. And also be sure to leave me a comment below. I really do love hearing from you. I read through all the comments all the time. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you get notified whenever I post a new video. I'm also over on Instagram and now TikTok at mkmagicmindset where I post tons of daily affirmations, law of attraction tips, and more. And be sure to check out my website, mkmagicmindset.com, where you can find more about my programs, my meditations, and more about me. And I will see you in the next one.